Welcome to our video on giants. From ancient myths and legends to modern day sightings and theories, the idea of giants has fascinated people for centuries. But what do we really know about giants? Are they just the stuff of folklore and fantasy, or is there evidence that they could have existed or could still exist today? In this video, we'll be exploring the various explanations for the existence of giants, from evolutionary adaptations to possible archaeological findings. We'll also be looking at some of the most famous giants in history and in popular culture, and we'll be examining some of the mysteries and controversies surrounding these larger-than-life figures. So grab a snack, sit back, and join us as we delve into the world of giants. So, let's get started. Today, we're starting with reason number one, evolutionary adaptations. Have you ever wondered how certain species, like the dinosaurs, became so large? It turns out that size can be an important factor in the evolution of a species. Environmental factors, such as the availability of food and the presence of predators, can influence the evolution of a species. Some scientists also believe that the higher levels of oxygen in the atmosphere during certain periods in Earth's history may have played a role in the evolution of larger species. For example, if a species has access to a lot of food and a higher concentration of oxygen, it may be able to grow larger which can give it an advantage in terms of survival and reproduction. On the other hand, if a species is constantly under threat from predators, it may evolve to be smaller and faster in order to better avoid being caught. This process is known as natural selection, and it's the driving force behind the evolution of new traits in a species. In the case of size, natural selection can lead to the development of larger individuals, which can give them an advantage in terms of finding food and attracting mates. But size isn't the only trait that can be influenced by natural selection. Other factors, such as coloration and behavior, can also be influenced by the environment and play a role in the evolution of a species. So, it's possible that giants may have evolved to be larger due to environmental factors, including the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere, and natural selection. This is just one of the many theories for the existence of giants. Reason number two, confirmation through faith. There are various references to giants in the Bible, Quran, and Torah, and how these references may be understood by different religious traditions. First, let's take a look at the Bible. The Bible, both the Old Testament and the New Testament, mentions giants on several occasions. One of the most well-known stories is the story of Goliath, who was a giant Philistine warrior who challenged the Israelites to a duel. According to the Bible, Goliath was over nine feet tall, making him one of the tallest recorded individuals in history. The Bible also mentions the Nephilim, who were a race of giants that were said to be the offspring of human women and angelic beings. The Nephilim are mentioned in Genesis chapter 6 verse 4, and they are often interpreted as symbols of corruption and evil in the Bible. Now, let's move on to the Quran. The Quran, the holy scripture of Islam, also mentions giants on several occasions. According to Islamic tradition, Adam, the first man, was 60 cubits tall, which is approximately 90 feet. This is much taller than the average height of a human today, and it has led some scholars to interpret Adam as a giant. The Quran also mentions the people of Ad, who were a tribe of giants that were said to have lived in ancient Arabia. The Quran tells of how the people of Ad were punished by God for their sins and how their city was destroyed. Finally, let's look at the Torah. The Torah, which is the first five books of the Hebrew Bible, mentions giants in several places, including the mention of the Anakim, who were a race of giants that were said to live in the land of Canaan. The Anakim are described as being very tall and strong, and they were feared by the Israelites as they entered the promised land. So, as we can see, giants are mentioned in several holy scriptures, and their meaning and significance may vary depending on the context and the tradition in which they are interpreted. Reason number three, the giant of Castlenor. The fossil findings of the giant of Castlenor is just one example of possible evidence of giants in history. In the late 19th century, a group of bone fragments were discovered in the Bronze Age cemetery of castlenor le les in France by Georges Vecher de la Pouge. These fragments included a humerus, tibia, and femoral mid-shaft, and de la Pouge believed that they may have belonged to one of the largest humans known to have existed, estimating that the individual may have been around 3.5 meters tall. In 1892, the bones were examined by Dr. Paul-Louis-André Kierna, who concluded that they represented a very tall race, but also noted that they were abnormal in dimensions and appeared to be of morbid growth. In 1894, there were press reports of additional giant bones being discovered at a prehistoric cemetery near Montpellier, France. 
These bones included skulls with circumferences of 28, 31, and 32 inches, as well as other bones of gigantic proportions. It was claimed that these bones belonged to a race of men between 10 and 15 feet tall. Reason number 4. Giants in history. Throughout history, there have been numerous accounts of giants, both in folklore and in the historical record. These accounts come from a variety of sources, including ancient texts, paintings, and artifacts, and they provide a glimpse into the beliefs and cultures of different societies. One example of giants in history is the story of Goliath, a giant Philistine warrior who is mentioned in the Bible. According to the Bible, Goliath was over nine feet tall and was known for his strength and prowess in battle. Goliath is one of the most well-known giants in history, and his story has been told and retold in various forms, including plays, movies, and television shows. Another example of giants in history is the legend of the Cyclops, who were a race of giants with a single eye in the middle of their forehead. The Cyclops are mentioned in Greek mythology and are often depicted as brutal and savage creatures who ate humans. There are also many examples of giants in art and archaeology, such as the statues of pharaohs in ancient Egypt which depicted them as larger than life in order to emphasize their power and authority. In ancient Rome, there are accounts of gladiators who were giants and who were used for entertainment in the arena. So, as we can see, there is a long history of giants in various cultures and societies. While it's difficult to determine the accuracy of these accounts, they do provide a glimpse into the way that giants have been perceived and depicted in different cultures throughout history. In future videos, we'll be exploring other theories for the existence of giants, such as genetic mutations and extraterrestrial beings. In conclusion, the existence of giants is a fascinating and mysterious topic that has captivated people for centuries. While there is still much we don't know about giants, we've explored some of the most popular theories and explanations for their existence, from evolutionary adaptations and natural selection to historical accounts and cultural beliefs. We've also looked at some of the most famous giants in history and in popular culture, and we've examined some of the mysteries and controversies surrounding these larger-than-life figures. While it's unlikely that giants will be found walking the earth today, the idea of giants remains a powerful and enduring part of human culture. Whether they are seen as symbols of strength and power, or as cautionary tales of greed and hubris, giants continue to capture our imagination and inspire our curiosity. So, what do you think? Do you believe that giants could have existed or could still exist today? Let us know in the comments. And be sure to stay tuned for more videos on giants and other interesting topics. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.